Hey, hey, Brian Sensei here. Do you ever wish that you could have your email messages read back to you by a virtual assistant while you work on something else? Well, guess what? You can use Read Aloud using Microsoft Outlook. Let's check it out. Okay, so first I'm gonna come down and search for the Outlook desktop app. All right, here's Outlook app. Let's go ahead and launch this. Okay, and here I can see I have a new email from Rocker Hall. And this is actually an email from Daryl Hall of Hall & Oates. All right, so I'm kind of busy and I would like to have this email read back to me. So I'm gonna come up here to the top right and I'm gonna click read aloud, read text out loud and highlight each word as it is read. Hello, Brian Sensei. I received your invitation to become an instructor at your school. Notice here I can pause and I can click on the settings and I can actually adjust the speed. Maybe I want it read back a little bit faster and maybe I want a male voice. I have an option between male and female. I'm gonna go ahead and keep the female voice and I can click back over here and continue playing. I received your invitation to become an instructor at your school of rock. I am very flattered and would love to join your team and share my experiences with young, aspirational musicians. Please send me over your standard contract and I'll get it signed right away. Best. All right. So that is how you use Read Aloud in the Outlook desktop app. Now, you can also do this in the Mail app. I'm going to come down here. You might be a fan of the Mail app in Windows. Let's go ahead and look at it in here. Okay, so here's the mail app and we can see the same email here. Let's click into it. Now, in the mail app, we do not have read aloud. However, you can use something called immersive reader. I'm going to go up here to the view tab and I'm going to click on immersive reader. Now this changes the entire layout, strips away everything but the text of the email message. Same idea, I can come down here and click play. In my settings, I can adjust from male to female. I can also adjust the speed and play it back. Hello, Brian Sensei. I received your invitation to become an instructor at your school of rock. Now the other thing you can do is come up here to this book icon at the top right. And let's say you would like this translated into another language. You can actually come down here, choose the language you need. Maybe I would like to hear this read back to me in Japanese. I'll go ahead and select that, select the entire document, and boom shakalaka. Let's hear this played back. Konnichiwa, Brian Sensei. あなたのロックスクールのインストラクターになるというあなたの招待状を受け取りました。Isn't that awesome? And up here at the top, I can go back to the original English and back to Japanese and so forth. To get out of this view, click the large back arrow in the top left corner. And here we are, back at our email. This also works the same exact way when you're on Outlook for web. Let's open Microsoft Edge. And so here I am in Outlook on the web in the browser. Here is my email. And again, I can go up to view and find that immersive reader option right here. So whether you're on the web, on the Outlook desktop app or the mail app, you can have your email messages read back to you. If you liked this video, please let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to see more of these videos, consider subscribing to my channel and click the notification button so you can be notified every time I post new videos. It doesn't cost you anything to do this and it will help me keep my channel going. Also, if you have a specific tech tip you'd like me to create, please let me know by completing the form in the description below. And I'll see you on the next one.